All right, here's just a quick lesson. Uh, earlier in the week, during the actual classroom, we went ahead and changed the, the color of the material that's on our Evil Cubie. I forgot to add that into the video when we were setting up our Evil Cubie, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that here. So I'm gonna come down, select my prefabs. Uh, let's say prefabs again. And we'll go ahead, select Evil Cubie. I'm actually gonna go to our spot in the scene here. Let's go to where our player is. We'll just zoom in. And I'm going to go ahead and put, oh, it's in the shade, isn't it? Well, it's not going to matter. I've got lighting turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and put an evil QB in there with them. Man, just having a horrible time with clicking today. All right, so we'll go ahead and put them in, lift them above ground so we can see them. Uh, move them a little bit more so we can see them in the scene itself, in the camera. And let's take a look at the material. Right here is the material. And if we open this up, this is how you change the color. But since the, this is the default material, we actually can't do anything to it. So we have to create our own. So I'm gonna come into assets and I'm gonna create another folder just to hold my materials. In case you haven't noticed, I don't like things just floating around in here, well, except for the terrain. For some reason I've, I've adjusted to having just one terrain in there. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna create a material. And I'm just gonna call this mat all over case, then QB. Then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the actual color of it. And you can see it change down here. I'm just gonna make that bright red. Of course, you can move around a bit. Whatever it is you need to do. I want mine red. And then we're gonna assign it. Of course, there's lots of ways we can do it. Remember, we could click and drag. I don't like that way. Remember before, you could accidentally click on something else, change the material somewhere. Maybe you've got a really complex model set up and you end up changing one of the materials and then you gotta figure out which one you changed. It gets a little messy. Another way is just to go ahead and actually drag it right up to the actual object itself or actually click it and drag it over here. That's the one I like. I guess technically you could also come down to the renderer, to the materials here. There's only one there. So you could come up and drag it here, but that's even more clicks. I don't mind clicking it once to select and going ahead and drop it off. Although if you do have more than one material on your game object, you'll want to know which one to change. So I guess in that case, you'll want to come down to the actual materials themselves and change the one you want. But our cube only has one material. So anyway, that's it. This is a real quick one. I just wanted to get this one out there so everyone watching at home has a red cube, just like we do in the classroom. But before I go, let's make sure we take the evil cubie. Because if we go down here and take a look, he's still gray. So we're going to select this and go ahead and hit apply. And of course, now the changes have been applied. All right, let's get rid of the one in the scene. I'll see you in the next lesson.